Hello and welcome to Is This Your Card? Today we look at something that truly has returned to serve, the great and mighty Malorn. Malorn is probably my single favourite druid card, a 9-7 for 7 that goes back into your deck every time it dies. The amazing returning power of the stag that cannot be denied. I sound pretty enthusiastic about this card, and that's because Malorn is actually pretty damn amazing. It can't attack the turn it's played, but it's a beast card, meaning you can draw it with a discover card. It's a beast card, which means it has beast synergy with everything in the deck that a druid has that already has beast synergy. On top of all of that, Malorn is a 9-7 for 7 that even when it dies, it just comes straight back. I mean, it doesn't go back into your hand like a Nubarak does. I would say arguably a Nubarak is better, but that's an 8-4. So, I don't know. I'd honestly say, because Malorn is also much harder to remove, because even a big game hunter will just put it back in your deck, that I would probably say that even then Malorn is better. Unlike a Nubarak, Malorn can actually prevent you dying from fatigue if Malorn dies every single turn, and the chances are, by the time you've gotten to the point where you're reaching fatigue, Malorn is going to be dying every turn, which means you never run out of the ability to survive it. You can effectively survive infinitely, unlike a Nubarak who just goes back to your opponent's hand every time he dies. Double Innovate Coin Malorn on turn 2 is a game winner, because on turn 3, a lot of people won't have that solution. Unless you're a priest, you won't have an answer on turn 3 to Malorn. He will just hit you for 9 and then you'll be done for. It's true that Malorn's biggest weakness is something that changes who he is, like a Transform card, like a Polymorph card, or a Hex, and a Silence does pretty badly for him too, because he doesn't go back into your deck, but you still put a lot of hard removal on this 9-7. Things that will just kill him, like Flame Lance and Fireball, don't have as much power because he just comes back! It's still a bit of a gamble, though, because Malorn doesn't go into your hand, he goes into your deck, so you may never draw him until right at the very end of the game. I love Malorn because I love big, stompy druid cards that sound amazing and have great visual effects, and Malorn ticks all the boxes. You really can't go wrong with this amazing card. 